Hello, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, August 1st of 2023. My name is Giovanni Bettencourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. Well, a new month, a new beginning, more opportunities, a, a jubilant uh, July typically heralds a sensational half, second half of the year, but history doesn't always repeat itself. Now, in accordance to the uh, to the markets, the S&P 500 rose an impressive 3.1% last month, and when the index has risen at least 2.5% in July, it averages a gain of 8.4% in the second half of the year, and this is according to Dow Jones market data. But if 2023 is going to conform to that trend, investors may well be wondering where those gains are going to come from. Now that recession fears have subsided, part of the reason for last month's gains, investors have shifted their focus when it comes to economic data. They can't be too bad as to damage the economy and bring by recession concerns but they can be too good as to push the Fed into more red hikes. Now, the sweet spot is likely to be data that are slightly below expectations. Uh, the Fed signaling an end to its hiking cycle is another potential catalyst. Now, the history matching gains are unlikely to come from this earnings season, despite being robust. Companies have not been rewarded for meeting expectations. The S&P 500 companies reporting positive surprises have actually suffered an average of 0.2% share price decline in the period that runs from two days before earnings to two days after, according to Faxit data. That's below the five-year average of a 1% jump. Now, the magnitude of earnings surprises is also below historical averages, and expectations are low, which may explain the muted reaction. If any company can buck that trend, it's likely to be Apple, which reports results Thursday. But the tech giant's 51% gain so far in 2023 it needs to produce something special. The broader stock market also needs something out of the ordinary and a bit of luck to keep the momentum going. So with that momentum and that being said, what can we expect in the markets for today? Well, we see, we're see we looking at the NASDAQ right here. Uh, we saw how the NASDAQ yesterday had a pretty good, uh, if, you, if you will, pretty good green day to the momentum to the upside. It did close uh, you know, very basically within the range, but today it has opened with a momentum uh, to the downside. This momentum to the downside can mean several things. One could also mean that it being the first month, uh, you know, profit taking, you know, uh, rebalancing of your portfolio, your positions, rolling your positions over, all of these things can have can have this effect, right? But obviously, we expect that this momentum of the downside will continue. 15,700 will be the initial first report, just because it's psychological, by half minus 15,600. Let's see if the market will retrace all of all of that uh, that much to say or well, buy the dip. So let's wait. Uh, as well as for the S&P 500, after you know having an amazing, an amazing uh, month, will it continue uh, to do so this month of August? So. For now, obviously, profit taking, rebalancing, you know, rolling over positions. So I, I contemplating that this momentum to the downside will continue. Uh, I have 40, uh, my support is around 4560, 4580 would be that initial support, psychological report. All right, then we have the Dow. Dow, the same token. Dow, it seems to want to hold on to a, a lot of these gains. Uh, so perhaps a, a, a lighter or a shorter. Uh, pullback will be uh, contemplated here. We are in a neutral zone, so keep that in mind. As far as the as crude oil goes, well, yesterday we saw how crude oil came and kissed eighty-two dollars and retraced quickly from it. So we're pushing, we're not with trading lower today. So I will say that if we continue to this pullback all the way down to the open, which it was around eighty dollars and sixty cents to find some support from buyers. Net gas is uh, selling. Uh, much more so we continue to uh, to pinpoint this downside movement 250 will be my support my target and then gold is continuing to just really retrace strongly i suppose that the dollar index might be part of this so 1940 most most likely would be the target would be met 
then also silver is you know trading lower to 24 hours will be my target then copper also trading lower 390 will be my target selling all those things today also bitcoin is trading lower it came out of that out of that ranging situation uh the company congestion if you will and then broke out to the downside then the euro the currencies are continuing also it have the euro broke 110 so it's trading below 110 109 would be the target then we have the pound the pound also 127 will be the target selling that because that index continues to rally to the upside 10250 is my resistance for it and if that con if, if as we reach uh, that resistance we will see a continuation to the downside on all of the assets that we just mentioned before so keep that in mind all right have a fantastic trading date and happy new month august see you tomorrow